Hello everyone and welcome back to Coral Kiwi Arts. Now today I decided to do a drawing with acrylic pens that we purchased on this little drawing pad that I, or paint pad that I purchased a few days ago. I haven't got any watercolours. That's the whole reason why I brought this because I would love to do some watercolours or watercolour painting. But a while ago we brought these pens here at Colorbox in Istanbul. I've never tried them before, but they look like a lot of fun. My wife brought these for herself. So, yeah. Uh, also, we had a request by someone who wants me to do a drawing, imagination drawing, of a train. And, obviously, a story to go behind it. But, I'll leave that for next time. But my main focus is this we're gonna or well, I'm gonna do a painting with acrylic pens on here it's not really a painting in fact these look like more like kind of pens than more than a paintbrush but today I'm going to draw a picture with these pens now we brought a thinner version of them as you can see the the tip is a lot smaller a lot finer but I'm going to give it a go and see if they can blend and that's the thicker version of them. Now before you use them, you've got to give them a good shake and press the tips down before the, the actual paint comes out. I drew a horizon line there. It was easy to do. I, all I did was run my pen and use my finger as a guideline to make that line happen. So we've got a horizon line there. I've only got, I think, two types of greens. I thought I had a darker green here. No, I've only got one green. This is not good. Never mind, I can probably manipulate it with by using other colours. So, I'll do a hill there and I'll do another one here like that I'm going to see what I can do with these pens because with paint brushes you can easily make the colors blend into each other I'll do another hill there. Maybe I'll come down there like that. Okay. These pens are quite hard. I guess if you're using a thinner paper uh, you'd go right through it so this pad is ideal but you can see that the paper is slightly lifting in some areas it could be the paint on the end of the pen now before I was able to get the color to flow I had to shake the pen for about a minute and then push the tip down by pushing down like that whoops I guess that's one way of getting the paint out quicker I guess if I had a paintbrush I could use it to blend that paint that's defeating the whole purpose, I guess. Because these are pens, not paintbrushes. But I guess if you're doing mixed media, like acrylic painting, you could use the pens for adding details in your pictures. A 
before I could do anything like that, I need to understand how these pens work. Okay, the ink comes out. And as you can see, let's have a look on the other side. Yeah, it's okay. The paint hasn't gone through to the other side. So please relax and listen to the music while I, while I draw for you. What I've done, these pens seem to take a while to block anything in. So what I've done is I've got myself some water here and I thought I might use it to blend the colour. Let's see if this works. I've got the paint all wet. I'm not sure how fast this paint dries, but it seems to be a little bit of Oh yeah. Ah, that seems to work. Now this is only an, an experiment. Just to see how the pens work and what I can do with them. I'm not sure what to do with these lines because once I add them onto the pad you can still see them. I could probably draw the blue on a separate piece of paper and then transfer the, the ink from one pad to the other. They don't seem to work very well while the paper's wet.
because the tip's so hard they seem to dig into the paper. That's one thing I don't like. It's ruining that nice texture that's on the paper. I guess in time, like anything, uh, you you understand how it all works.
Now it's best to, when you do irregular shapes or it's best to just move your pen about so you don't um, repeat the same pattern as you go. It's better to be random. That way it makes your picture look more appealing. Let your subconscious take over and let it create for you. Now I haven't got a dark green. I think it's left back at the studio. By saying that, it doesn't prevent me from giving it a go by adding other colours. So that was a bit of a challenge. I didn't have a dark green. So what I did is I added black. Now I don't normally have, in fact, I don't use black at all when it comes to any of my paintings, except if it's a black car, of course, <laughs> that I'm painting. But I don't normally use black. I normally use Two colours like brown or blue, mixing together makes a very dark colour and that's the colour I would use. Same with brown, I'll probably use two colours, 
dark green and a dark brown, mix them together to get a dark colour. But I don't normally use black. But in this picture, I decide to use it. It's okay. It was a lot of fun. And I was going to give up because I wasn't very happy with it. But how are we meant to learn if we just stop in our tracks and not carry on with our drawing? It's very important to keep drawing till the end because sometimes your pictures can come together. So as for my first ever pen drawing, I think it's not too bad. Now, if I hadn't have used the brush, if I just used the pens, it would look like a piece of illustration. And it would take me a lot longer to blend the colors. But you certainly cannot blend with these pens on their own. And the tips are quite blunt. So you can get a nice uh, flick from it. But in most cases, you'll get a round tip on it. So if you're doing line work or anything like that, if you look carefully, you'll see that the ends are quite round. So it's not, they're not, uh, they're not perfect, but they do the job. So uh, these are sand dunes with the sunset, and it's casting light. That's why I put a bit of white there. And maybe I could have just left them as they were. I might actually fix this. I'm not happy. So I'm going to repaint this part here again. So, and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end of the video. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you guys again next time. Bye now.
Now they say you don't have to have a tree green. You can have your tree any colour you want. That's what art's all about. It's about being free, using your expression, using your imagination. You can paint realistically if you want to, but I decided to manipulate my colours and I'm happy with this, with what I've got. The blue gave me a chance to make my colours or my green a little darker. I could have used the water to blend the yellow into the blue, making it dark green. But I want them to be light because this is what this whole picture is about. It's about bringing the light towards you. I don't want to make it dark. And the top is always darker up here because it's closer to the, the sky. The higher you up, the darker it gets and it gets lighter as it comes to the bottom. And normally objects that are close to you here are darker. So I could make these darker, bringing this picture back, further back. I could do that. But I'll leave it as it is. Because I like how all the colours work together. It's not about perspective. It's not about... Well, it's just about experimenting on these pens. That's what it's all about. Having fun. This is my first drawing, so I'm happy. And next time I'm going to get some watercolours and do some nice watercolours on the rest of these pages that I've got on this nice little pad. Thank you for watching.